हेलो गुड इवनिंग गुड नाइट टीचर हे गुड इवनिंग हाउ आर यू हेलो गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग वेलकम वन मोर टाइम टू योर क्लास हाउ इज एवरीबॉडी वेलकम वेलकम लुइस अल्बर्टो गुंडली से गुड नाइट टीचर गुड इवनिंग वेलकम प्लीज से वेलकम वी हैव इरिस फ्रांसिस्को सैमुएल वेलकम We have also Estela Marisol, Karen Guadalupe, Brian, Camila Lisette. Welcome everyone, guys. Very good to see you one more night. We are going to continue then with this process of learning. Isn't it raining around your house? Nidia, welcome. Yes, it's raining. Here. Thank it's you. It's raining, right? You're welcome. It's like to see you one more night. It's raining, right? It's very early. And I said, I please, the energy, don't leave. <laughs> it's a problem, right? When there is no energy, it doesn't function. No computer, no TV, no nothing, no internet. So that's, it causes difficulties. But it's good that everybody is here then. Welcome, Camila. We have Wilber. Welcome. One more night. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, very welcome. Let's see who are going to be only listening. Let, let me check here and put some notes. So we have... Um, Okay. Let's go then. Okay, remember yesterday we finished with the be going to, right? But now we're going to continue with more practice here, but this time about the parts of the body. So we we'll start with our section two. And here, the name of this section, this one is called, what's the matter? So what's the problem? Notice that when we have a headache, we have a stomachache, when we feel sick, you say, hey, what's the matter? What's the problem? So we're going to check the body vocabulary. Let's go ahead here then. We have a video. We are going to watch it. Everyone, in this class, you'll learn vocabulary for... No problem with the video? No. No, no teacher. All right. All right, thank you. We're discussing different Where's parts wrong? of the body. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Parts of the body. Head. Eye. Ear. Nose. Mouth. Tooth. Teeth, chin, back, shoulder, chest, stomach, throat, neck, wrist, arm, elbow, thumb, hand, finger, fingers, Leg, knee, ankle, foot, feet, toe, toes. Make sure that you memorize this vocabulary. An easy way to do this is by pointing to your head and expressing, this is my head. Then pointing to your arm and saying, this is my arm. Remember, the goal is to learn this vocabulary. So do this until you have learned all the vocabulary words. Okay, so we're going to identify them. I got here again the picture, individual picture. So let's check. We have head, right? These parts, head, eye, 
ear, with the ones we listen, ear, nose, mouth, tooth, teeth, it will be the plural. Teeth is only one, diente, right? Tooth, and the plural is teeth. So it's not tooth, it's teeth. Chin, la quijada, right? Chin. Then we have the wrist. Wrist is this part, right? La muñeca, wrist. Mm -hmm. Then we have the arm, el brazo, arm. Elbow. What is the elbow? Oh. El codo, right? Elbow. We have also the throat. Throat. When we drink something, when we eat, right? We feel it, the throat, la garganta, throat. Then we have neck. Neck, right? All this part, el cuello, that's neck. Then we have the back part. Back. Back. Hombro. Back, back. La espalda. Hombro, mm -hmm. that is shoulder. Shoulder. And plural, right? It will be shoulders. Shoulders. Then we have chest. El pecho, right? Chest. El tórax, el pecho. Then we have stomach. Stomach. Thumb. Thumb. Thumb es el dedo gordo de la mano. That is the thumb. Then we have hands. Finger, only one. Fingers, plural. Then we have leg. Leg, la pierna, leg, knee. What is the knee? Rodilla. La rodilla, uh -huh, correct. Ankle. El tobillo. Ankle. Then we have foot. What is foot? What will be foot? Pie. Yeah. And that, right. That is singular. Then, but also we have the plural form. That is feet. So in plural is not foot, is feet. Foot, only one, feet, the two. Now we have toe, toe or toes. Son los deditos de los pies, different than fingers. Finger is only from the hand, but toes are from the foot. All right, we got that vocabulary. Now, to recognize, right, and very easy, as is mentioned in the video, it's a very easy manner to memorize the part. So if you can say, like, this is my head, you can also say, this is my nose, these are my fingers, these are my shoulders. Now we can show them too. Let's see, Luis Alberto, show us one part of your body. And say, this is my head, this is my nose. Luis Alberto? Hello, Luis? The microphone, please. Me escucha, teacher. Yes, now yes. No, si me escucha. Yes. I can hear you. This is me, hair. My, this is, this is my, 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 my head, my head, this uh -huh. is my nose, nose, this is my mouth, touch it, touch it, my mouth, this is my, my now, my, okay, my mouth, my nose, my nose, that's all right, good plan, very good, thank you, Luis, Nidia, continue, your turn. Remember here, if you say singular, it's this, right? If it's plural, it's this. This is my health. Excellent. This is my nose. Excellent. This is my fingers. This, are... this is my shoulder. All right, good. Look, when it's plural, you say, these are, these are, estos son, these are my fingers, these are my shoulders. Yes? Okay. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Nice. Wendy. Wendy. Okay. Hello. Um, Can you tell us one part, one part of the body? Um, okay. Um, 
Ah, sorry. Uh, these, are, these are my shoulders. Excellent. These are my shoulders. This is my elbow. Excellent. Yo. Yes. And these are my ears. Excellent. Very good job. Thank you. That's right. Nice. Okay. Let's go ahead. Let's continue mm -hmm. then with Doris. Hi, Doris. Hi. This is my ears. Plural. This plural. Is... Plural. These are my this, eyes. These are my eyes. 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 Very good. Uh -huh. These yeah. are my eyes. The, there are my ears. These are my ears. This is my hair. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Luis Antonio, continue. Very this is good. My nose. My nose. My nose. Uh -huh. This is my mouth. My mouth. My mouth. mouth. This is my teeth. Uh -huh. Plural. These are? These, these are my teeth. My teeth. Very good. Thank you, Doris. Really good. Luis Antonio. This is my neck. This this, this is my is neck. My, uh -huh, my neck. Uh -huh. Excellent. This is my waist. Perfect. One more. One more. Um this is my arm. Excellent job, Luis. Thank you. Wilbert, continue, please. Okay. This is um, this is my hair. My head. This is my hair. This is my eyes. Plural. These are my eyes. Eyes. These are my eyes. This is my eyes. When it's plural, you need to say these are are. Estos son. These are eyes. Eyes. my eyes. eyes. Uh -huh. These are my eyes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Nice. One more. Okay. 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 <laughs> like Chinese? Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 this is my um right my wrist my wrist, wrist. my very wrist good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This, is my arm. Uh -huh. this is my arm very good job thank uh -huh. you cool. <laughs> continue wendy please okay again <laughs> i'm sorry yes you already participated thank yeah. you so much yeah okay. thank you so much uh, mercedes hello mercedes Hi, teacher. Hi, welcome, girl. Thank you. <laughs> okay, this is my head. This is this my. Is... There are my ears. These are. This these is... are. These, these are, are my... plural. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. These are my my ears. This is my mouth. This is my tongue. This is. Mm -hmm. There are my. These. These, these are. are... Good. Sorry. These are my fingers. Mm -hmm. Um. These are my nails. My nails? Ah, okay, that's good. Thank you so much, Mercedes. Really good. You're welcome. Very good. Nice. Let's continue then with uh, Doris. Yeah, participate. You did, right? Yes. Thank yes. you. William Vladimir. Eh, chair, una, una consulta. Eh, con el pelo sería, eh, these, are, these are my this hair. This, this is. is. Ajá, porque es incontable. Aunque sean varios. Ajá. Ajá, es pero como, ah, okay. como lo usamos como en general, como el, el cabello. Uh, this is my hair. This is my hair. A menos que digamos, ah. esta es una fibra de cabello. Esa sí se cuenta. Ajá, sería un. Ah. Una fibra de cabello. Okay. But it's a, a fever of hair. But in general, okay. you say hair. Mm -hmm. this, is. this is my hair. Right. This is my head. Right. Uh, and these are my fingers. Right. And these are my shoulders. Very good. My shoulders. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, William. Cool. Jennifer Elizabeth. Okay, go. Uh, this is my hair. Right. Uh, this is my teeth. Plural. These are ah, my teeth. They are my teeth. This. These are. They, they, these are. These are my my finger. Fingers. These are my finger. fingers. 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 Good. Uh, these are shoulders. My shoulders. My shoulder. Plural. Um, shoulders. Uh, the. This is my eyes. Plural. 
These are my eyes. These, the, these, are, these are my, my, my eyes. eyes. Very good job. Thank you, Jennifer. Yes. That's cool. Karen Guadalupe. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. This is my head. Mm -hmm. This is my nose. This right. is my mouth. Mm -hmm. These are my fingers. Mm -hmm. These are my head. Hands. My hands. <laughs> What else? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. That's cool. Thanks. Camila. Camila? This is my nose. No se le escucha casi, Camila. Creo que tiene problemas con el audio. Yeah, she has problems with the audio, audio, audio. Okay. Let's see. Let's continue then with Francisco. Francisco? Problems with audio, maybe. All right, guys. There we have the use then of this and this, but with the parts of the body. Let's remember that when you have a singular form, then you need to use this. And the verb to be is. But when it's plural, then you say this, are. Is it this, the plural, suena un poco más prolongado. So it's this. Y el singular es más, más fluido. So this. This is my head. This is my hole, right? Okay, let's go ahead with another part. Now in this one, let's see the objective that we have. By the end of this class, you will learn how to use have plus noun and feel plus adjective to express health programs. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So we have here some of the problems that we have with our body when we don't feel well. For example, cold, we don't feel well, right? Resfriado, cold, cough. What is cough? You don't feel well either with the throat, you have a problem. <coughs> that is cough. Then we have fever, then we have high temperature, right? Very hot, you feel the body. Sore throat. What is sore throat? Sometimes it's difficult to eat and swallow. Sore throat, that means dolor de garganta. Sore throat. So you can say, I have a sore throat. Headache. What's a headache? Dolor de cabeza. Perfect, that's good. A stomachache. Dolor de stomach. Perfect. Toothache. Dolor de muelas. All right. Earache. Dolor de oído. <laughs> That's good. Cramp. This is very normal in athletes. Como un calambre. Exactly. No. Yes. Many Cramp. of the um, yeah, many of the athletes they suffer of this. Very, very frequently they suffer it. Okay, so let's watch the video about this. All right, so this one has to do with have plus noun, feel plus adjective, and we have the conversation that is, I feel homesick. Homesick, that means nostalgic, nostalgico. Like when you travel to another country and you say, hi, my family, hi, my friends, and you feel very sad. I feel homesick, nostalgic. Let's listen about this. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to express different illnesses. For example, I have a headache. I don't feel well. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I feel homesick. I feel homesick. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. 
No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Now let's take a look at the examples on this chart. Have plus noun. Feel plus adjective. What's the matter? What's wrong? I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. How are you? How do you feel? I feel homesick. I feel better. I don't feel well. Negative adjectives sick, awful, terrible, miserable. Positive adjectives fine, great, terrific, fantastic. I would like to start by explaining the examples on the left hand side of this chart. How to form statements with have plus noun. We can follow this formula to do that. Subject plus have plus noun. Let's analyze the first example. I have a headache. The subject is I. Then we need to put have Finally, we include a noun, a headache. Let's take a look at one more example. I have the flu. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include the noun, the flu. Now, I would like to show you how to form statements with feel plus adjective. We can follow this formula, subject plus feel plus adjective. Let's analyze the example, I feel homesick. The subject is I, then we need to add feel. Finally, we need to put an adjective homesick or it can be any of these adjectives towards the right I feel sick awful terrible miserable fine Great, terrific, fantastic. Now it's your turn to practice giving examples of your own. Try to use the vocabulary and try to make examples using have plus noun and feel plus adjective. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right. Okay. You saw there what is the formula, right? We said I feel how you manner. How is that uh, you're physically right? You're physically feeling. So this conversation, I feel homesick. This is a conversation between Brian and Kenichi. So let's go ahead here. We're going to point the two characters. It will start with Brian. It says, "Hey, Kenichi." How are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Now, let's check here. Do you have new vocabulary?
Teacher. Tell me. La frase, I just feel a little homesick. I just feel a little homesick. Es solo que me siento un poco nostálgico. I just. Es solo que me siento un poco nostálgico. Any other word? Um, teacher. Yes. Can, say, can Ichi, well, I have a headache. A headache? A headache? Uh -huh. Headache is a pain in your head. You don't feel well, so you need to take a aspirin, dolofin, Tylenol okay. for your headache. Yes, that's a headache. Mm -hmm. Any other words? Okay, let's practice it. La, eh, nada más la, la pronunciación de backache o hatch o back hatch. Oh, backache. 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 It's a, a pain in your back. Backache. That this word it sounds like ache, que es dolor. Back ache. Head ache. The same case, stomach cake. That's the sound. Let's begin to practice it. Let's start. Karen Guadalupe, start, please. Hey, Kenichi. Um, hey, Kenichi. How are you? Thank you. Francisco, continue. Oh, I'm no I'm so not? good. Uh -huh. I'm not so good, actually. Actually, thank you. Luis Alberto, continue. Why? Luis Alberto? The audio, please. You need to activate. Yes. Sí, thank you. Yes. Why? What's the matter? Matter. 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 Right. Yes. Thank you. When did you it? Well. Well. I have a headache and a backache. Very good. Thank you. It is. Maybe you have the flu. Aha. Uh -huh. Maybe you have the flu. Thank you. That's good. Nidia, continue, please. No. No. I think I just feel a I little just, homesick. I just, I just feel. I just feel a little homesick for Japan. 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 Thank you. Yes. William. William Vladimir. That's the best. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch. Um that's new Japanese uh, restaurant. Very good job. Nice. Camila. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. Brian? Brian? Brian, I feel very ready. Thank you. Jennifer, you're going to begin again. Hey, Kenichi. Hey, Kenichi. How are you? Thank you. Luis Antonio. Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Thank you. Continue, Carlos. Why? What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the What's matter? The matter. Right. Matter. What's the matter? Thank you. Mercedes. Mercedes, Alisa. Voy. Sí, sí, voy. Voy. Es que tengo problemas con el internet. Ah, okay. okay. Vamos a ver. Eh, with Kenichi. Uh, well. Okay, well, uh -huh. I have a headache. Headache. A headache. headache. A headache. And a backache. A backache. A backache. Yeah. Thank a you. Backache. That's right. Mm -hmm. Wilbur, continue, please. Maybe you have the flu. The flu. Very good. That's nice. Thank you. Chrysia. Chrysia? Chrysia Menjibar? Lisette, do you have a question? 
No, I think. No, I, I think. No, I, I think. think. No, I think. I just. I just feel a light. A little. A little. A little. Feel a little. A little. Homesick. Home, homesick. Homesick. Homesick for Japan. 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 Yes. Japan. Thank you. Very good. Jose David. Thank you. That's too bad. But I maybe I can but maybe, help. But maybe. But maybe. I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. Very good. Thank you. Sarina. That's a great idea. Thanks. Great. Great idea. Great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Very good job. Thank you. Nice. Any question with this? No. Yes, tell me. Who has a question? Ah, yo quiero hacer una pregunta. Yes, tell me. Porque, porque algunas veces la palabra paz la, se dice paz, sí. pero algunas veces yo la he escuchado como que la pronuncian ver. What word is it? Sorry. Eh, if you help me with the audio, si me ayudan con el audio, creo que. Uh, Alguien tiene plática. <laughs> Please help me. <laughs> what is the word? I'm sorry. ¿Cuál es la okay. palabra? La palabra bad. Algunas veces yo le he escuchado que la mencionan como bad. Um, ¿Es correcto o, es, o se puede usar de la otra forma? You mean bad. Bad, right? Is bad. this one. No es bad. Bad. It can be two forms. What happens is that we have two pronunciations. You can have the British... The European and the Europeo, eso suena tal cual, bad. But North American, there is a variation. En el norteamericano hay una variación. Pero ambas mm. son correctas. So you can say, bad. I feel bad or I feel bad. That's bad. Oh, okay. So it's, it's the accent that changes. <laughs> For example, in the United States, you know that there are people from many countries, right? Hay personas de todo el mundo. Entonces, como que se va distorsionando el acento. Sí, es que uh -huh. yo lo escuché en una canción, Bad Boys. Y ah, así lo pronuncian. Ajá. The movie, right? The movie. Uh -huh. They say, yes, they don't say bad boys. They say bad boys, bad boys. Uh -huh. <laughs> what you gonna do? What you doing? That's very good, yes. But yeah. it's correct. It's correct to use it like that. I say bad. Uh -huh. okay. bad. I feel bad. Okay. Bad. Gracias, teacher. You're very welcome. My pleasure. Any other question? All right, let's continue then. We got more material here. So as we're talking here about the health problems or illnesses, illnesses, they are health problems. So they are synonyms, you can say. The first one is a backache, a backache, right? A problem with the back part. An earache, an earache, a headache, a stomachache. Problem when we eat excessive quantity of food, a stomachache. A toothache, we need to go to the dentist. A sore throat, sore eyes, right? Also, there is sore pain in the eyes, eyes. sore eyes. Sore when, eyes. when can we have sore eyes? When we have, for example, conjunctivitis. Cuando tenemos conjuntivitis. Remember, si ya les ha dado conjuntivitis. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Big sore eyes. That's terrible. It's true. It's so bad. You feel so terrible. The flu. What's the terrible. flu? Yeah. So terrible. What is the flu? Gripe. Exactly, it's very common, right? In these days, this is very common. In very all common. Of the parts, in all of the parts, you can see people. Ah, or right, like that. So you need to take medicine for that. A fever. Yes, no, it's very uh -huh. common. It's very La common. Temperatura. 
Ajá, yes. a fever high temperature, right? Tomar la More temperatura. Than... Eh, no, es fiebre, fiebre. Ah, fiebre. Ese es, ese es el, el, el problema de, de salud, no, ¿no? el padecimiento. Ah, sí, sí. Es a fever, eh, a fiebre. Ajá. A cough. Ah, what's cough? Toser. Ajá, tos. No, no, la, no, la, no la acción, sino la, el padecimiento, la enfermedad. A cold. A cold. You feel right. Very terrible from your nose. Uh, un resfriado. A veces un resfriado no está en el momento. Por ejemplo, a los que tenemos rinitis alérgica, that is very common. <ríe> un resfriado común, a veces con unas antialérgicas y se quita. Pero cuando es gripe, pues sabemos que padecemos mal días, right? So that's a cold. So now let's mention here the structure to express the manner how you feel physically or the head problem or the illness that you have. It will be, I have a headache. You can say like this, I have a headache. I have the flu. I have a cold. I have a backache. I have an okay. earache. Yes? So let's practice it. You're going to tell me one, one that you have. Wilbur, tell us one example, please. I have. I have a backache. A backache. A backache. A backache. Very good. Thank you, Luis Alberto. Tell us another example. I had a conch. I have a. A cough. A conch. A conch. A cough. Cough. La gh cough. junta suena como una f. Cough. A cox. Cough. 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 Like, like coffee, but you say cough. Like, like a, cough. A cough. That's a good. Cough. That cough. is very good. Nice. Okay, let's see. Doris, another example. I have fever. I have. I have a fever. All right. Thank you. That's good. Let's see. Gwen Deli said. I have a sore throat. A sore throat. Yeah, that's too bad, too. Pamela. I have a cold. I have a cold. All right. Thank you, Estela. I have the full. I have it? The forget. Which one? Oh, the flu. Oh, the flu. The flu. <laughs> yeah, very yeah. good. That's nice. Thank you. Adriana Gabriela. Adriana Gabriela. No present. Mauricio Enrique. Mauricio. Eva Alicia. Rosa Irma. Presentation. Oh, Eva. Okay. Give us an example, please. Yes. I have. Eva? I have. Uh -huh. I have. I have a head. 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 That's all right. Very good. That's nice. Thanks. Okay. Guys, we're going to pass the list, all right? So, let's listen carefully and tell me if you are present, please. Let's see. Adriana, Gabriela? Adriana? Alma, Patricia? Oh, Alma, Patricia is not present today. Brenda Esmeralda. Brenda Esmeralda. Bryant Alexander. Present, Miss. Thank you so much, Bryant. Camila Lisset. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Mario. Carlos Mario. Present. Thank Present. you. Thank you. Doris Emilia. Present. Thank you, Doris. Carlos Mario. Carlos Present. Mario. Thank you so much, Carlos. Elvis Leonel. Elvis Leonel. Estela Marisol. Present. 
Thank you, Stella. Eva Alicia. Eva Alicia. Present. Thank Present. you, Eva. Thank you. Francisco Samuel. Hi, here, teacher. Good Thank evening. Thank you. Good evening. Welcome, boy. Thank you so much, Francisco. Iris Milena. Present. Thank you, Iris. Jennifer Elizabeth. Present, coach. Thank you so much. Jose David. Present, teacher. Thanks a lot. Karen Guadalupe. Hi, present. Hello, thank you, Karen. Chrisia Dorila. Chrisia. Thank you, Chrisia. Luis Alberto. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Luis Antonio. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Enrique. Mauricio Enrique. Mercedes Elizabeth. Presente. Thank you Present. so much. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you. Nidia Yamilex. Present teacher. Thank you, Nidia. Rosa Irma. Present teacher. Thank you, Rosa. Sarina Susana. Hi, present teacher. Thank you, Sarina. Tatiana Maria. Present. Yes, thank you. Wendy Lisset. Present. Thank you, Wendy. Wilber Enrique. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Wilder. William. William Present. Vladimir. Thank you, William. Yesenia Maribel. Yesenia Maribel. And Yesenia Pamela. Present. Thank you, Pamela. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. All right, let's move then to the other parts. All right, any question with this to express about the illness or health problem that you have? Any question? No question? Nada. Teacher, la pronunciación sobre ese de, de, de tu, tu kick, tu, no sé. Oh, let me check. Backache, do you mean? Mm, tu, tu. Oh, you mean toothache. Tu, ¿Cómo es? Toothache. 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 This one. Toothache. Yes. Uh-huh. Toothache. Toothache. Uh-huh. Toothache. 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 Uh -huh. That's the pronunciation. Toothache. Uh-huh. Ache. Those are meaning ache. Ache. Stomach ache. Toothache. Like when you say cake. Toothache. Earache. Backache. Now, let's continue with more examples as in the grammar focus. It says in the question, what's the matter? It's equal to say, what's the problem? What's wrong? It's the same way. What's the problem? How are you? How do you feel? I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. I feel homesick. I feel better. I don't feel well. So remember that here you can say affirmative or the negative, right? Here in the case here, it will be, I don't feel well. Now let's check here because we connect with adjectives, negative adjectives and positive adjectives. In the adjectives we have sick, awful, Awful means horrible or terrible. They are synonyms. You can say, I feel awful or I feel terrible. Miserable. Miserable is like to feel, oh, no. Like, eh, like inútil, algo así. Que uno se sienta así. I feel miserable. Fine. I feel fine. I feel great. I feel terrific. 
terrific is similar than fantastic. So terrific no significa terrible, significa algo bueno. Es como fantastic. Very good, I feel. That's terrific. Fantastic. That would be. So in that way, we did the exercise, right? You say, I have a headache. I have the flu. But also you can include with feel. So now let's practice with feel. How do you feel? Let's write it here. How do you feel? And let's give some examples. Carlos Mario, can you give us an example, please? How do you feel? And you can say, I feel. I feel fine. I feel fine. All right. Thank you. Let's continue. Estela. Estela Marisol, are you there? Sí. Ajá. Uh -huh. Give us an example, please. You say, I feel, and include an adjective. I, I feel, feel better. Ah, okay. I feel better. That's like a comparative, right? Thank you. Doris, I feel. I feel fantastic. Fantastic, excellent. I feel fantastic. Okay, let's give more examples. Rosa Irma? I feel so. I feel sad. Okay, feel sad. Adriana Gabriela? I feel hungry. I feel hungry. Okay, I feel hungry. Sarina, are you present, Sarina? Yes. Yes. Okay, give us an example, please. Podría, I don't feel miserable. I don't feel miserable. That's right, it could be. I don't feel miserable. That's right. So that's the manner, it's like how you feel, the manner, right, of that. Some of them have to do or they have relationship with their health physically, but others, they can be also about hungry, right? You need to eat. So you are not sick, but you need to consume some food. Now let's verify in the other parts. We're going to eliminate this, okay. Now is this one, it's like the exercise we had, right? That it says, what's wrong? Do you have a headache? No, I don't. Do you have an earache? Yes, that's right. So in this one, we can ask like a yes, no question. Let's ask a yes, no question then. Carlos Mario, tell me what's wrong? Do you have a headache? Eh, repito eso o, o la siguiente. Ajá, repeat this one. Yeah, the B. The part B. No, I don't. Ah, no, I don't. Do you have an earache? Yes, that's right. Very good job. Nice. Thank you. Now, we are going to modify, personalize it a little bit. Luis Antonio, what's wrong? Do you have a cough? No, I don't. Luis Antonio? No, I don't. Very good. Do you have the flu? Yes, that's right. That's right. Very good job. Nice. Thank you. Okay. Now let's see. Nidia. Nidia, you are going to personalize that a little bit. And you are going to ask Francisco. For example, if you say, what's wrong? Do you have a... And modify this. Modify the illness problem. Okay. What's why? What's wrong? Do you have what's wrong? Do you have a flu? Uh-huh. Do you have the flu? No, I don't. Do you hide the flu? No, I don't. Very good. Uh-huh. Continue. Do you? Do you have um cold? Mm -hmm. Do you have a cold? Yeah. 
Yes, that's right. That's right. Very good. Okay, so that's the matter that you can include, right? Like a short conversation and you investigate about how the person feels. Question about this? Do you have questions? No. Oh. No? Nobody has questions? All right. Then let's move to here. Remember that in the platform, you have about the knowledge check. But this one is about listening. So you need to listen in the platform. That will be that exercise. Now, the next point is about Chef. common guests. Tell me. Este, uh... Nada más para recordar, no sé si en este curso va a ser diferente. En la primera semana tenemos que completar en la plataforma la sección 1 y 2 porque la revisan. Exactly, yes. Porque yes. como no había escuchado que comentara nada, va solo para hacer el recordatorio. Uh, sí, de hecho, eh, los encargados del grupo siempre les están recordando. Les enviaron mensajes, me parece que como tres mensajes. Eh, yeah. Se los enviaron al grupo. Eh, eso es lo que... No sé si han creado un grupo porque yo no aparezco en ningún grupo, solo me eliminaron del anterior. Sí, sí correcto. Sí. No, no, no hay ningún grupo. No hay grupo para eso. No, 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 le, no les enviaron este Perdón, por correo. No, sí estoy en grupo. Ahí estaba el link cuando nos mandaron la. Ajá, es que por correo se los envían. Ajá, entonces Ajá. ahí decía para unirte al grupo de WhatsApp uh -huh. y presionar el link. Ajá. Y inmediatamente no ya lo manda. Entonces. Ajá, es que fíjense que cada mes, <risa> cada mes van cambiando el, el chat de grupo. No es el mismo, porque como eso lo, lo van Ajá. utilizando para el módulo anterior, ya como ustedes ya son un módulo diferente, se utiliza otro, sí, otro sí. grupo. Uh -huh. Entonces y siempre che. hay que agregarse. Yes, tell me. Y che. Yes. Y es de que estamos más de 20. En More el grupo than... de este módulo 3. Ajá. Ya me acabo de agregar, yeah. ya, ya, ya. Es sí, que igual. en los grupos yeah. anteriores okay. automáticamente. <risa> <risa> bueno, por lo menos automáticamente me habían incluido. Hoy sí, me... sí, creo ah, que okay. no nos dejamos todos. Sí, no se los envían al correo. Ajá. Y entonces ahí les, les aparece a ustedes que agregarse, porque les aparece el chat, el chat de grupo. Entonces ahí ya se sí, incorpora. Yes, tell me. Yo sé que a mí me pasó que. Yo quiero entrar, ¿verdad? Donde está el módulo 3 para, para hacer las, lo, los ejercicios y la verdad. Sí, ajá, no me, no me permite. Voy a consultar entonces porque se supone que no tiene eh, como un límite. A mí me pasa. Le, hable, le abre como que se si estuviera en el módulo 1. No, es que lo que pasa es que me dice que que como que tengo problemas con mi cuenta y entonces no me permite entrar. ¿Y, y ya le escribió al encargado? Sí, ya le escribí a soporte técnico, mm. pero no me han contestado. No me han contestado. Y ya eso ya lo reporté hace como tres días. Que... Mm -hmm. Si gusta, mande el, el, el nombre completo. Al grupo, uh -huh. sí está, está agregada, ¿verdad? Al grupo. Sí, sí, sí. sí. Ah, entonces envíe su nombre completo ahí, porque igual uh -huh. yo lo voy a notificar a ellos directamente. Vaya, mí, porque yo por eso no he podido hacer la tarea, porque uh -huh. no puedo acceder y la otra vez si bien cabal podía acceder. Uh -huh. desde, ok. De acceder para Pero a la, a la sección 2 sí la, le permitió, uno y dos. Sí, ah, sí. ok, ok. Sí, porque ahorita les están pidiendo que hasta, hasta las dos, ¿verdad? Y si pueden avanzar, pues no. mucho que mejor. Exacto, y yo no puedo avanzar en ninguno porque no puedo entrar. Mm, ok, mm -hmm. vamos a hacer así entonces, para que así yo les notifico directamente a ellos, a ver qué nos resuelven. Está bien, Está bien Miss. Ok. Thank you. Thank you. Any other question? Yo. Yes, tell me. Eh, fíjese que mi micrófono no sé, creo que estaba fallando y cuando pasó lista creo que no me la tomó porque no sé qué le pasa a mi micrófono. Let me see. Lisette Alvarado. No. No. Adriana Enríquez. I'm sorry. Adriana Enríquez. 
Adriana Enríquez. Ok, lo voy a anotar acá entonces y para agregarlo. Teacher, yo soy Lisa Alvarado, pero es mi compañera que también quizás tiene un problema. Mm -hmm. Ok, thank you. Ok, thank you. Ok, ya la anoté y lo voy a agregar. Thank you. Any other question, guys? Okay, then let's check here about some common medications. We know that in our houses, we normally have like different type of medicine. You have pills for different reactions that we can have. Like this, right? We have the muscle cream, we have the cough syrup, cough drops, aspirin, antacid, cold pills. We have eye drops. So that's for different reactions that we can have. Tell me, what about the some common medicine that you have? Can you mention the names? Aspirin. Aspirin, okay. What else? Karen, Karen Guadalupe? What medications from the picture do you have in your house? Mm, no sé cómo se dice. El antiácido. Antacid. Antacid. Uh -huh. You have that one. Okay. That's very important, right? When we eat yes. something that is not very good for the body, it's like, ah, oh, okay, I need to take that. What else? What else do you have? Lise Alvarado? What do you have in your house? as common medications. Teacher. Yes. I have uh, an antacid. Antacid? Uh -huh. You have antacid. All right, good. What else? Do you have any other medications? I um Taking cream, but no, muscle. Cream, sí. muscle, muscle cream. cream. Para uh -huh. los, crema muscular, right? Like when we have, ah, oh, no, I have like a backache. Yes. It can yes. be. There are some of them that is called like dolo cream. Have you heard about dolo cream? Cream, cream milk. Which one? Cream with milk. Cream. With esto no, esto no, esto va en Help me with the audio, please. Me ayudan con el audio. Thank you. Okay, so we have, it's una cremita, right? So you have muscle cream. What others do you know? There are some creams that they are for the pain of the body they, and they are very common. The one I mentioned to you, Dolo Cream. Any other one? Have you heard about marihuanol? <laughs> That's Ultra very popular. Clean. Which one? I'm sorry? What's clean. Clean? That's is that another one? Okay, nice. What about <laughs> cough syrup? What cough syrups do you know? Dolophin. Ah, dolophin. That will be for the headache, right? Or the pain in a part of the body. What about Alec Tylenol? Allerfin for the allergies. Ah, loratadina, right? Panadol. Panadol. Pills. Panadol. Uh -huh. Which one? Acetaminophen. Acetaminophen. Ibuprofen. Yes. Birogrip. That is true. And also Palagrip. can be. Uh -huh. Palagrip. Palagrip. Yes. Very common, right? For the flu. Also for the, the cough that you can have. Any other one? Any other that you know? Cool Sorry, pills. Uh -huh. Sorry, Tom. What else? Sorry, Sorry Tom. Sorry, Tom is mm -hmm. the candies, right? For the cough. It helps a lot. Yes. William, what about you? What medications do you have in your house? An antium. An antium. That is true. For what is that? 
eh, dolores internos, golpes ah, internos, perdón. Ok, so es that internal, internal heat, ok, that's good. Camila, what about you, any other one? Aliu. I'm sorry? Ah, Aliu. Aliu. That is for the, the headache, right? Yes. Aliu is for the headache. Yes? Mm, yes. Para dolor de cabeza, right? That's Aliu for the headache. Nice. Wilbur, any other one? Any other medications that you have at home? In, in my house, um, <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, that's good. Nobody gets sick. <laughs> Everybody's health is there. <laughs> okay, I prefer injectado. <laughs> uh, it's true. It's more effective. It's true. It's more effective. Sí. That is true. Definitely. Yeah, there are some sí. injections. In. That's it. You don't suffer. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to stop it here. And we're going to continue on Monday. Okay. I prefer vitamins. I'm sorry? I pre prefer vitamins. Vitamins. And you prefer vitamins. Ah, yeah. Like the vitamin C is also good, right? All right, guys. Then have a beautiful night. We are Thank going to continue on Monday. All right? Yeah, Thank so you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Have a, a beautiful night. night. Sweet dreams. Nice. Thank you. Drink with the angels. Happy weekend. Good night. Happy good night. weekend. Have good a good night. night. See you tomorrow. Take care. Happy See you weekend. Monday. Remember. Good night, Monday. teacher. Recordemos que mañana no hay clases, chicos. Solo es de una ah, de yes. a jueves. Sí, okay. sí. So see yeah, you on Monday. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you very much. Sweet dreams. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Ese es que más conmigo.